Good evening. What's happening with LGBTQ seniors? Bennett comments on changing times. Looking back at a past Outlook video segment. That's our program. LGBTQ youth and young artists at Billy DeFrank. An Outlook video's 30th year of covering LGBT lives. Good evening and welcome to Outlook Video, your nationally recognized award-winning news magazine for the LGBT community. I'm Alice Heimsoth. And I'm Tom Smith. Welcome to 2017. In this month's show, Gabrielle Antalovich, Billy DeFrank's board president, will bring us a segment on what's happening with LGBTQ seniors at the Billy DeFrank Center. She will talk about some of the activities that they provide for Santa Clara County seniors. Bennett Marks will be bringing us one of his thoughtful and insightful commentaries. With this being the new year, I'm sure it will be interesting and provocative. We'll return to Gabrielle for another segment about the Billy DeFrank. This time she'll talk about our explosion. <gasps> and you might wonder what that is. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. I know my mind is running wild. Sorry, Roberta, for using your line, but it is running wild. 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 Okay. In response to requests, we'll take a look back at prior shows to round out this month's broadcast. We'll start this month's show with Gabrielle Antalovich and her segment about seniors at the Billy DeFrank. Welcome to Outlook Video. I'm Gabrielle Antalovich. I'm the board president for the Billy DeFrank LGBTQ Community Center. And we have so many different groups that actually meet there, one of which is a number of seniors. And when people think about seniors, you know, it's like old people. But in actual fact, our seniors at our community center are vital people. We do have a luncheon program that is every Wednesday and Friday. So if you know anyone who's 60 and over, or if you're under 60, you can come bring your own lunch uh, and join us in the most amazing discussions. And I have to tell you, because of all the things that are happening in the world today, especially in America, our seniors have a lot to say. And part of what people keep thinking is that seniors are old and crotchety and can't move. Oh no, they're in the gay pride parade. <laughs> and they remember that the first time we started coming out was in 1969 when Stonewall happened. And we still remember that. And so still love gay pride and are out there. And you know, this last year, Orlando happened and our seniors were very upset about that. And so what has happened at the Billy DeFrank Center is many of them don't just come for the luncheon, they're also out there volunteering throughout the center. And what's great about that is that, you know, I'm a senior myself, I'm 66. So I have a lot of experience I bring to the table. And so when it comes to giving back to the community, can you imagine people with all these different careers that we've had, different kinds of relationships, experiences, when we pull that together, we rock. And so when we're out there in the community, you know, we're at the different parades and we had a round table discussion with uh, Supervisor Ken Yeager, he came and said hello. And I have to say, it was a mixed group of young and old and our seniors had a lot to say about what the issues are. One of which is when seniors go into assisted living and, and communal housing like seniors often do, 
sometimes we have to go back into the closet, not because the owners and managers are homophobic, but because the heterosexual seniors are homophobic. So we are fighting not just you know, with HIV issues, but we are organizing with senior commissions, uh, San Jose has decided to go age friendly and so has the county. So we are vocal out there and the seniors at the DeFrank Center are very vocal about we need LGBT friendly and LGBT senior housing because going back to the closet is not fair. And it, it's like going back in time. It's like, why would anyone want to do that? And so a lot of people have become aware of that. So when um, the post-election gatherings started to happen, guess what? A lot of the seniors in our luncheon program showed up and started talking. And some of the younger people said, oh my God, you've been through this before. You know, when we first came out in the 60s, there was a backlash in the 70s just like we've had gay marriage, which was woohoo, great. But then there's been a backlash in many states from the religious right saying they want to have the right to discriminate on their religious beliefs. That's called a backlash. So anyway, remember us seniors, we know what has happened over many, many decades and have a lot to say about what is happening today has happened before, but it's a different flavor. So we really need to work together to figure out what are we going to do to maintain our right to be openly gay or as gay as we want. We can be a little bit gay, a smidgen gay, super gay, whatever. We have a right to be who we are, whether it's in assisted living, in a hospital, have our partners be with us, going to the doctors, all of those kinds of things. And our seniors are saying a lot about that. And so when you think about seniors, don't think about, you know, tired old people. Mm -mm. Very vital at the Belly to Frank LGBTQ Community Center. And everyone has a lot to say from their own perspective and are very willing to share what they know. Thank you so much. And remember, if you know anyone who is 60 and over who wants to come for lunch and talk, let us know.